As the Mandela National Stadium refurbishment project nears completion, the UPDF Engineers Brigade is working tirelessly to put the finishing touches on this impressive transformation of the stadium. From above, the national colors stand out. These colors are painted on the VIP and VVIP seats in the covered stands. The playing surface, the heart of any football stadium, is receiving meticulous attention. A blend of Kentucky bluegrass renowned for its resilience under heavy foot traffic and adaptability to shed and drought, and Bermuda grass perfectly suited for Uganda's climate is being laid and carefully nurtured. This lush green carpet will be maintained to a pristine one inch height, providing an ideal playing surface for footballers of all levels. The upgrades extend far beyond the pitch. The entrance and exit areas are being modernized, incorporating a state-of-the-art ticket and access control system, ensuring a smooth and efficient flow of spectators. Uh, there were these manual entrances, but now stand styles have been made. They are 17 in number, and then per second, it is per second, 600 people can enter. And we expect within 15 to 30 minutes, the, the stadium will be full. Uh, then uh, if there is, in case of any other pro to, if, in case of any danger or what, we expect within uh, 40 minutes people have left the stadium. So all those risk measures have been taken into consideration. So the first gate there is to, is to control people who are coming in. We have a receipt, yes, you have, but how are you entering? Now when you enter in, you get, that is the holding place, the first place. Then you order it, we shall put in a, Maze. Maze. You enter in a zigzagger form right? until you reach. As one is being confirmed here, because here there will be machines to, to confirm the validity of the seat you have. A major highlight of the stadium is a dedicated operating area for video assistant referees, which will enable them make accurate and timely decisions using the latest technology. An anti-doping area that adheres to strict international standards, safeguarding the integrity of the sport is another new addition. For players, new facilities are being constructed to enhance their training and game preparation. Lieutenant Colonel Peter Kidemuka, the project engineer for Mandela National Stadium, is proud of the progress made so far. His enthusiasm is evident as he oversees the final stages of the project. The second phase now was for upgrade and the renovation of Mandela Stadium. It had a lot of work. It was a total overhaul of mechanical and electrical works and then civil works. The civil works, as I talk now, are all done. They are all done around 95%. Uh, the others are these simple patches, painting, and the rest ongoing. And then the M and E, first fix is done 100%, second fix is done 100%. What is remaining are the fixtures and fittings, which are some are already with us, but after now fixing the doors, we shall put them. Uh, the project, as I already told you, the cost is 97 billion. The 3.8 billion goes to the perimeter wall. Then the 94 billion goes to the upgrade and renovation of Mandela. Um, the works, works have been executed very well. Maybe a, a brief about the scope. The scope of these works included one working on the pitch. There are two pitches. There is a training one and then the official, the one for where the matches are held and all games are held. The one inside, the general one, it will host, we shall have the athletes participating in it, running, running tracker is there. We have, we have rugby, we have football. Many games will be played indoor here. And then we had to do the fitting and fixtures. This included the chairs. As I talk now, chairs are around 90% fixed. What is remaining is uh, the VIP chairs, which are on the way. They are laser type, we, they will have cushions, and they will have a, a, a cover. With the arrival of imported floodlights, scoreboards, and on pit sound system and goal line technology equipment, the stadium will be fully equipped to meet the highest international standards. The UPDF Engineers Brigade is eagerly awaiting these final components to complete their mission, dusting their hands off this project and unveil the transformed Mandela National Stadium to Africa and the world. Uh, I take this opportunity to thank His Excellency General Yaweri Kaguta Museveni 
the President of the Republic of Uganda and the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces for empowering us and enabling us to develop our country through the construction industry. I also thank Mama for funding the project very well and giving us that opportunity and attending to all the problems we have had and being with us. The Engineers Brigade are now putting final touches on all construction works and they're very optimistic that Uganda cranes which have been hosting home games in different places can now feel at home.